On this video, we're going to cover two topics. Number one, I'm going to show you how to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator to find the best possible leads fitting your search criteria. And number two, I'm going to show you how to find reasons to engage with these leads in a way that's going to generate better responses than any of your competitors. So to get started, you go onto uh, LinkedIn Sales Navigator and you can click on lead filters here. And you'll see there's a wide variety of filters that you can choose from that are not necessarily available on LinkedIn free. That's why LinkedIn Sales Navigator is such a popular tool to use. Uh, you have company-based filters. So for instance, your lead's current company, company headcount, their past company, the company type, their company headquarters location. This is different from your lead's geography because, for instance, if you're looking for uh, leads who are based in Europe but work for a US-based company, you could choose here United States as a company. And then for the lead's geography, we can choose any country in Europe. Then you have role-based filters, so their function, uh, what their current job title is, the seniority level, past job title, the years they spent in the current company, but also years in current position. So this is very handy when, for example, you want to uh, search for leads who have been working for a company for a long time, but have just been recently promoted this is super helpful as well. Then you have uh, personal-based uh, filters, such as the geography of the lead, their industry, first name, last names. These two filters, I would say, are super helpful if you're doing an account-based marketing approach or if you are looking for reasons to engage with leads, which we're going to see in the second part of this video. Uh, their profile language, uh, their years of experience, what groups they're part of, the school they've been to. But you also have something very new that's not available on LinkedIn only, but you have that on Sales Navigator, which is the buyer intent. Buyer intent currently is based on two filters, whether they are currently following your company. So that's very helpful for for instance, you work at a company that's known enough and you can see that some leads have followed your company. Uh, this gives you reasons to engage with them because you know that they know about your company. Uh, you can also look into viewed your profile recently. That's also super helpful because if you start engaging with leads over time, you'll be able to know whether or not they have seen your profile. So whether they know about you or not, this is a very good way to follow up with uh, individuals that you have contacted before. Then you have this part called best path in. This is basically something that's going to help you to actually engage with uh, your leads to find reason to engage with them. So for example, if they are current connection of yours, so first degree, second degree, uh, if you guys are part of the same uh, groups, and if they are a third degree connection. You can also look uh, into this part here, connections of. Let's imagine uh, you work at a company where the uh, CEO or anybody else who's a C-level executive is prominent enough. You can see if they're connected with this person, so that gives you a reason also to engage with them. We're also going to look into this in the second part, um, and I want to focus now rather more on the filters to be able to find really the best leads for you. You can see if they are a past colleague, if they have shared experiences, uh, if they have recent updates. So for instance, if they recently changed jobs, um, that can be helpful if you're looking for people who've just joined a new uh, new job. If they have posted on LinkedIn, uh, that means that they are relatively active, so you can engage with them as well. And if they even mentioned in the news. Here, this part of workflow is super helpful when you have already started using Sales Navigator. For instance, if you've saved some of your leads into sales searchers or into lead lists, because it's going to help you um, either exclude uh, some of the leads or find uh, leads that you have already saved before and search for some of their informations. So let's dive into a real-time example. Uh, I'm going to look into company filters first. Uh, let's imagine, just as an example, I'm looking for individuals who are in companies between 11 employees to uh, 200. So obviously, Sales Navigator is going to give me a total amount of results here. I see 100 million. This is really huge. Uh, but I have to boil down with a bit more uh, filters. So I'm going to look into CEOs, uh, for instance. So I can add that. Uh, we'll use founders and, for instance, co-founders as well. I can select that. Um, and I want to check uh, leads who are based in California because that's uh, where most of my lead base is, just as an example. One thing that's really helpful on LinkedIn Sales Navigator is, as you can see, you can also exclude locations. So let's say I'm looking into leads uh, who are based in California, but uh, another sales in my team has Los Angeles as their targeting region. I can exclude Los Angeles, and you'll see it's going to give me uh, less results. So I'm going to exclude Los Angeles. And it went down from 140K leads to uh, 110K leads. So that's super helpful. This, this allows me to not target people who are not necessarily in my targeting region. In terms of industry, I'm going to look into uh, retail, just as an example. I can select this. If I want to exclude any other retail industry, for example, I don't want to do uh, retail art dealers, I can exclude that as well. And this is going to be quite helpful to be uh, super specific on what I search. So here, one thing that I really recommend to do, and this is super helpful on Sales Navigator, is that you can toggle this button here, which will allow you to save this entire search um, into a list and be notified whenever there's a new lead who fits these criteria that we have pre-selected that appears. Let's say in one month's time, uh, there's a new uh, CEO um, in a company in uh, California in uh, retail and apparel and fashion that fits exactly this criteria as well. I'll be notified not only on email, but also on Sales Navigator. Let me show how it works. If I click here on the toggle, it saved it. I can either click on Manage Safe Searches here, or I can click on Safe Search uh, here. 
When I click on it, I can see, okay, this is the list that has been created. Obviously, there's no new lead because it's live uh, done. But on previous lists that I've created, I can see when I have created the list and how many leads have appeared since I have viewed this list. So this list I haven't viewed in a very long time. Uh, but this list here I have created only a few days before. So if I click on it, I can see right away that I have, okay, 21 new leads. I can click on it and I can see all the new leads that have appeared. So here it tells me, okay, these are the new leads that are on your list that I probably have not contacted yet. So I can use this list either to save them on a new list or to export them onto uh, another tool. Sometimes the search criteria don't work perfectly because here I can see that the leads company is based in the US, but the person is based in Pakistan. They may have changed this location recently or may have not updated it or else, but they've appeared. So I wouldn't want to select this person here, but I'll select all the other people here. I can select here three per people. As you can see, three people selected. I can save them onto a list or I can save all of them. I'll untick this person and I have 24 selected leads. If I save to a list here, I'm going to name it as well. So let's say CEO, Founders, California, and uh, Retail. Just as an example, I can add a note as well. If I create and save this list, what's going to happen, clicking on leads here to see all my lists, I'm going to be able to identify specific informations that will give me reasons to engage with those leads. So right now I have the 24 leads that I've saved. I can see that there is one lead that has changed a role in the past 90 days. So this can give me a reason to engage with them, congratulate them on their new role. I can click on the lead here and see specific information about them. This is super handy because all happens in the same platform, but I can also look into other leads that have posted recently in the past 30 days. So all of these leads have posted recently. I can look into these people here. So I can see recent activity four days ago. This person has reshared the post, so I can either comment on it or use this as a reason to engage with the person mentioning this specific post. So I have 11 people I can engage with uh, with specific reasons to engage with them. Some of you watching this video may not be willing necessarily to engage with leads right away on LinkedIn Sales Navigator because it might be too manual and you're using an automation software, either for LinkedIn Connect messages or for emailing. Um, on the description of this video, I'm going to leave a link to a software that I'm using that allows me to export leads. As you can see, here I have a button that shows export leads. This is not native to Sales Navigator. This is a software called scalelist.com. I'm going to show you the website. It allows you to export your searches, be it saved lists, saved searches, or just searches that you make uh, in order to export all the information, you know, the first names, company names, the uh, LinkedIn URLs, uh, the company location, but also the tool is going to search for their professional emails and verify it. So it's going to tell you whether the professional email found is actually workable or if it's something that's rather risky and you cannot be so sure that your email is going to land into the inbox. Leaving the link on the description of this video so you can use the tool as well. So with this said, um, I would suggest you to use the lead filters wisely. Uh, obviously, there is a wide variety of the search filters that you can use and you can also find reasons to engage with your prospect based on a buyer instance, but also using this part here called best path, as well as the section on saved lists. So if you go back to leads here, you can see all of your lists and you can see the recent activities of your list. This is really helpful to give you reasons to engage with your prospects. If you're finding uh, it really difficult to know why you should be engaging with someone, this is actually quite helpful to find reasons to engage with your leads and actually build valuable connections over time. Over to you now and thank you so much for watching.